Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're back today for a Monday night look back at a classic rock album. I have a really good one. Uh, I decided that it's, this one should be done. It, it, it could have been done a while ago, but I kept putting it off because I wanted a better system and a better this before I did this album. And we're talking about Styx's Grand Illusion, one of the great kind of sorties into progressive rock for me. This was near the beginning. This was probably the first kind of progressive rock album, along with uh, Fly By Night, were the first kind of two that had some progressive elements to it that started to have an impact on my musical direction. So this album came out, uh, I think it was July 7th. Let's check my notes here. Yeah, July 7th, 1977. Uh, was recorded at Paramount Recording Studio or Para Paragon Recording Studio in Chicago. It's about 39 minutes in length uh, on the A&M record label and uh, produced, of course, by Styx themselves. The members of this band, there's five, of course. We all know who they are if we're Styx fans. Dennis D. Young on lead vocals, keyboards, and some synthesizers as well. James Young or JY on lead guitar, oh, on electric guitar, lead vocals, and he does do some synthesizer, and I believe it's on Come Sail Away here. Uh, Tommy Shaw, electric and acoustic guitars, lead vocals. Um, Chuck Panazzo on bass, and his brother John Panazzo on drums and percussion. So, this album has been, was my first ever experience with sticks. I didn't actually own it, and I do apologize that it's backwards because I still have not figured that out on this computer yet. My other computer is a different story. I can, I can work on that because I'm familiar with the, the model, but this one I haven't figured out yet, but I'm working on it. My friend will be back soon, and hopefully he'll show me how. And I do apologize if we get too many motorcycle noises. Seems to be a convention in town. So, sorry. So, up we come. We have this track. This album has eight tracks. Fairly common in that time period, especially the more progressive albums had less tracks because the songs were longer. And there go the motorcycles. So, you have the uh, opening track here, The Grand Illusion. To me, that is the signature stick song. When I think of sticks, that's the song that comes to mind. Such a grand opening such a great song to sing really hard really catchy so good that song i love it uh fooling yourself the angry young man that's tommy shaw's big kind of number here on this uh superstars a little bit lesser of a song but not weak by any stretch. there's no really bad songs on this album at all come sail away of course is the most well-known stick song i believe it's probably their biggest hit uh, maybe babe might be bigger but i don't know but it's definitely one of them anyways. Um, Miss America, that's the JY song. Uh, really hard, giving this this hard rock flavor to the album as well. And he does write, of course, he's very political minded and this, this song is written in that same style. Man in the Wilderness and Castle Walls, two really great progressive songs maybe among Styx's most progressive stuff. Um, definitely really good. Castle Walls is, is fantastic, but I love both these tunes a lot. And then it ends off with the Grand Illusion, which is just a short little instrumental part at the end, really good. The album cover, of course, is fantastic. Grand Illusion, right? So you, there's trees and a horse in there somewhere and different kind of patterns in a face and all that, trying to create this Grand Illusion. And there's the guys on the back, all in the trees. The album itself is is uh, just fantastic. I got the green and yellow theme going with the hat and shirt as well to try to match up. So this is a fantastic album. I highly recommend it for people who haven't gone into sticks yet but are looking to get into some hard rock, progressive rock stuff. This is the 
probably the easiest entry point for Styx because it is the most well known. You'll probably almost certainly know some of these tracks. So, anyways, this is a great album. Lots of really good guitar on here. Some of their best guitar works on here. I actually think some of their best keyboard work is on this album as well. Uh, Dennis D. Young is firing on all cylinders vocally. I really, I've also liked Tommy Shaw's voice a lot too. And just really catchy, really catchy tunes here. And this is the album that put them on the map, so to speak. So there you have it. Sticks is Grand Illusion for a look back at a classic rock album tonight. Next week, we'll be back with another classic rock album by another band. I do this every Monday night. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any comments about the album or the band or anything I've said, put them in the comment section below. Please like, hit the like button. That would help a lot. And subscribe. We'd like to see you back. Have you come back and see more of these album. Um, I guess is a bit of an album review. So take care and have yourself a good night and a good evening. Take care. Bye.